Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 video. I asked you what mods you'd like to see and you have overwhelmingly voted for Kaiserreich. For those of you who don't know, Kaiserreich is a full overhaul of Hearts of Iron 4, alternate history in which Germany won the First World War. So we have the Russian Republic, German Empire, Austrian Empire, Britain and France are communist and so on. And we're gonna play in that alternate reality. I'm going to try the United States. I actually briefly tried it already, wanting to prevent the civil war, because there's a big chance of a civil war when you're playing America. I'm not sure if it is even preventable. It used to be, so I'm going to try and prevent the civil war from happening. And if I can't, then I'll try to win it. I don't know much about Kaiserreich. I played it a little bit a long time ago, but just a little. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do, United States. But before we begin, a message from a sponsor for this video. Now, this video was brought to you by Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans is a free mobile city building and strategy game. The game takes place in a persistent medieval fantasy themed world with wizards and goblins and magitech and all that sort of thing where you play the role of the chief of a village. In the course of the game you will be building your village up using the resources you've gathered, defending yourself from attacks, attacking to eliminate threats and also raiding other people to get the resources they have gathered. Or you could be nice to them and not do that. There's a variety of buildings and units you can produce to make your village exactly what you want it to be. And the basic stuff you've seen at the start of the segment is just that, the start. Later on things can get a little hectic, with much more waiting for you to discover. Now, Clash of Clans is free, so if this looks like something you would enjoy, make sure to follow the link in the description below, download the game and try it out for yourself. And remember, doing so supports the channel. Alright, back to House of Iron, regular difficulty, non-iron mode because it's a mod and it can crash on me, and historical AIs are disabled because they asked me to. United States of America, let's go. There's a beta. Now, uh, the mod version and the game version are not the exact same version, but I hope it won't cause any problems. It seems to be working fine. Anyways, we are in a terrible situation. Our political power is non-existent. We have negative stability. And just look at these consumer goods factories. So what can we do? Victory in a civil war. Yeah, this is all about a civil war, but can we prevent it? Maybe if I align with one of these guys, I'll be able to stop the war from happening. We will see. Let's try and reintroduce the Ghana Wagner Bill. Produce just guns, cancel all the planes, we won't need them, cancel the extra ships because we have tons. Essentially if there is a peaceful way out of the civil war, I think it's usually the best choice because civil wars are a waste. Let's bring all our troops to Washington just in case and build stuff up. Get some infrastructure here and in factories. For research sounds pretty good. Electronics and construction. Right, that's about it. Let's unpause the game and speed it up. United States in 1936. Pause to read if you want. We have to deal with the Great Depression or it will get even worse. We have reintroduced the bill. Now there's a lot of events in this mod and actually, uh, see, kind of a lot. Got some political power. The assassination of President Kerensky, that is in the Russian Republic. Let's look over there. And it's now led by, who's he? Some unpopular president. Long and read demand changes. All right, political actors will have to deal with. See, our political power is actually negative. Edward crowned as King of Great Britain in exile of Canada because communists took power here. Make some convoys. Now, with the Great Depression, political crisis and Hoover, we are in a very bad spot. All right, on the bill, who do we want to collaborate with? We can do the AF. P or the SPA, oh, God damn it. Americans and their abbreviations. Now I have to deduce which is which. Uh, SPA will be Socialist Party of America. Can you just write that? And America First Party is this one. I think we have to ally ourselves with one of them to maybe not have the Civil War, but we'll see. Let's try and force the establishment to compromise with the Socialist Party of America. Black, oh, all right, wait, wait a minute, God damn it. That's quite a lot of events. All right. We got extra political power. Things get even worse. Our stability is now minus 16%. Coalition, sure. Let's try and do a coalition. Great look on France, not my problem. Black Monday. Anglo Afghani war. Afghanistan attacks India. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening, isn't there? Oh, is that why you guys asked me to do Kaiser Redux? Uh, so that there wouldn't be so much stuff. Russian Socialist Republic. Now, if we were in any position. Oh, sure. Crime spree. 
Yeah, because we had too much stability. Um, if I was in any position to fight someone, that would be a great opportunity now to attack the Russians. But apparently you can justify your own wars before the Second World War starts for some reason. Austria withdraws from Italy. Right, lots of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening again. Uh, what's that? Nationalist revolution in Cuba. That's unfortunate. Right. The bill. The bill is approved. The bill passes... Damn it to all the events. Yay, political power. We're only at a negative 86 political power now. Let's do the Hawking plan. Get extra popularity for our party of market liberalism. And perhaps we can get the socialist into a coalition or something like that. That could work well. Oh, we don't like him, but he can say his things. Oh, we'll lose even more stability. How low can we go? Because zero is the limit in the regular game. Now we are at negative 23. Death of Pius, Sylvia Pankhurst, the elected chairman. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore most of these. Uh, a flood. Sure. Too much information. Some cha Something changes here. Cuban-American Agricultural Summit. Sure. Let's be diplomatic with everyone. Or is Mexico gonna attack me? Hmm. Be diplomatic. Negotiations succeed and we get some political power. We're still in the negatives and famine breaks out in Sichuan. I mean, terrible and all, but uh, not my country. Okay, if I deselect these, will I not be getting this stuff? Stanley, I don't care about the Stanley Cup. God damn it, this is a war game. Right, a uh, hawking plan. Mm, I think I will be aligning myself with the Socialist Party of America because that reportedly used to be the way to not have a civil war. Although, I'm not sure anymore. So let's base the agency in uh, Charlotte. New Industrial Act. Yeah, this is incredibly important news, of course. Congressional bids. I have no control over these. Special elections. Right, I think I'm going to try and align myself with the Socialist Against America first in this attempt. Oh, Democratic Party. Aren't we the Democratic Party? You no, know, this is a bit too complex, I think. But uh, sure, let's set the second option. Oh, it was the pain, the orange ones. National Unity Party. Oh, it's the same party. Nominating Quentin Roosevelt. Extra political power. And some riots. Uh, they are at fault. Panama pressures. Costa Rica. Is there gonna be a fight? No. I kind of feel railroaded. I can't get any political power unless I get it from events. Alright, new industrial act. What do we want to do? Let's have the show Socialist Party of America gain some political power. Shipyard funding. Sure, let's do that. Also, 85% consumer goods factories. Someone dies. Legation cities bailout. Sure, let's bail out the cities, whatever. Southern Democrats complain. Sure, we'll promise to appoint them to the new cabinet. Let's try and build a coalition. Great heat wave because we had too much stability. Vote and litigation count. Yeah, whatever. I'm not even sure how this works exactly with the those litigation cities. Can we deal with the Great Depression in time? I'm gonna give the contract to New York City because, uh, because, because if there's a civil war, I think I'll, I will control it. Red Summer because I don't know why we lose political power, stability, and manpower once again. All right, what can we do? Not much. We could invest in the military, but I don't really care about that right now. How about we demand repayment from Canada? I'd improve relations with them, but we would need political power for this, and we have negative 246 of that. Disunity within the coalition. Authoritarian democracy, whatever. Hmm. Let's force a compromise. Maybe that will keep the coalition intact. Orson's nomination. As presidential candidate, sure. The election is in November. Canada refuses to pay back the debt and we get political power from it. Let's, let's hit them with tariffs for not repaying us. Violence reaches the political theater. Even less political power. See, this is a terrible experience, being hit with all these so early in the game. I recognize this is by design, but it's still a terrible experience. I hope we can get through this. I had to switch one short. Sure. Oh, something good happened. We're only at negative 56% stability. This unity within the coalition again. We shall force compromise again. Shall we help Liberia? Do we care about Liberia? Well, they're a puppet, so yeah. As long as they're a puppet, we do care about our subjects. Right, so I can't do anything here. We need to wait for the presidential election for this one. Will this be bypassed if there's no civil war? So we could just not do a focus and gather up some political power. Or we'll try and boost our army. I guess I'll do the focuses. Indian Citizenship Act. Sure, let's pass it. We have a lot of political support. Recent Romania joined Belgrade Pact. And civil war is happening in Russia. Status of the army. 
Let's continue. Oh, we can't do any of that. Oh, we can't do anything. Well, I'll have to wait. November election. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. If I get a socialist candidate, radical socials, socialists will join the coalition. How do I see who's in my coalition? But I will be changing to socialism completely. And uh, hmm, let's have a look. All right, so I can get Floyd Olson and try to reason with these people. Let's do that. How much support do we have? Could be more. They contest the election results because, of course, they do, and the others do as well. Cuba supports me. That's something. And the civil war with Spain. In Spain. There's a lot of civil wars happening in the world. Do not be idiots and don't start one over here. He's apparently not sworn in yet, so I can't do this. Is the interface too big? I went from 200% to 250 when I was playing Old World Blues and decided to keep it that way for a while, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Oh, a strike! Because things were go going too well. Finally, inauguration. Activate mission, act quickly. You have 100 days to do what? To do stuff. Well, I do intend to go with the Velvet Glove and hopefully negotiate peace. Reed accepts invitation. The Velvet Glove is complete. Let the negotiations commence. Now, I'll be cheating a little bit on this because I found an old post in which it was outlined on how you can avoid the civil war. I hope it is avoidable because I hate unavoidable civil wars. So let's see if that post was correct and if that option is really on the table. First, we're supposed to not allow long to the negotiations, then make Reed make a better offer. Right now, we present this before Congress. Oh, minus a hundred political power. And uh, remove new strike. At least that's something good. Uh, right. Long rejects the compromise. And now I'm supposed to try and assassinate him somehow. Not sure if it's possible. Is it in the decisions or what? Oh, he declares the American Union state. God damn it. All right. At least Reed shouldn't rebel, right? Because we have him on, his, on our side. Can I assassinate him? Stand by the public. No, and we can start doing something again. Maybe if I made Reed or Long the president. No, I don't think that would work. Let's just roll with the flow. Army reform debate. Can I assassinate him? and make this Siege of New York City, really? Provocators, 30 day deadline, all right, what this is this? Remove the Great Depression, set political power to zero, even though it was minus 231. That is something. Remove political crisis, add civilian economy. Hey, this is pretty good for me. Can the war be avoided? Available states to recruit in. What does it cost? Well, we can get extra militia from this. Is there a way to assassinate the guy? Okay, 21 militia units will be raised. Can I get some militia units then? Riots in New York, fine. Oh, and fine, our economy seems to be working. At this point, I don't know if I messed it up or if they made the civil war unavoidable. I would kind of prefer if I just messed it up because I hate unavoidable civil wars. It was just a matter of my own preference. So what, we're recruiting militia here. Right, so there's going to be a war, right? So where's my army? Field Marshal MacArthur, you're going to be the Field Marshal. You can be the General, take them with all you've got. Make him an aggressive assaulter. Was all that coalition stuff a waste of time, or will we have less countries in the Civil War, I wonder? North Carolina declares support for um, him. And the American riots in Puerto Rico. Yeah, they can be a puppet. Fine with that. Take control in Tennessee. Federal revolt fails in Texas. Does it fail, or does it... You know, whatever. That's some nice bonuses. Most alarming. Dissolution of the Navy. That seems... Terrible, like pretty much everything that happened since the start of the game. Maybe I should have picked a different country. Right, so let's just get all the ships into one fleet. This way I will know if we lose any. Go to Washington. What is this? Is he gaining support for these contested states? Right, so I can recruit some more militia. Which gives me the most? Select the one that gives me the most militia. This is 15, 18, 21. Nice. Let's take the one that gives me 21. How good is this division? Pretty decent, actually. I have a new general. Everybody get to the front lines. So will I be able to recruit when the war starts? I hope so. Army doctrinal debate. What do we get? Ah, this is a focus choice. Let's have a look. All right, so this is tanks. I'm gonna not do it now. Uh, this, this branch helps with superior firepower and artillery. And this helps with planning and the grand battle plan. Are they going to go with artillery? We have enough economy that after the Civil War, we can actually build a lot of artillery. So the McNair, McNair, this one. And we get a new field marshal. Let's now standardize the gun. Who's the new field marshal? Oh, not that good. We can actually deploy some troops, it seems. Well, one. Canada moves into New England, really? We'll kill you later. Cuba seizes Guantanamo. We don't really care at the moment. Japan seizes Guam. And we get a civil war. Well then, let's kill them. At least it's not a four-way civil war. Formation of New England. Oh, it might be a four-way civil war in a moment. Twelve days left. Are you gonna attack me? Yeah, well, very well then. Oh wait, you took my... 
high value cities that I was building stuff in. Oh, you assholes. Have I revolt? Sure, whatever. Only bad news today. Canada seizes Alaska. Really? You're just gonna keep seizing stuff. Oh, obligation cities, whatever. Some political power. And militia. General Edna, go to the front lines. And we shall recruit more. A king militia here. Panama seizes canal. Panama? Weren't you a puppet of mine? Maybe not. This is alternate history after all. Yeah, right. We'll have to pacify everyone later. All right. At least it's not a four-way civil war. Coming of Hawaii. Whatever. Recall China Marines. Can I get more divisions from that? One division is not a lot. Let us go down this path here. Nicaragua doesn't care about my Monroe Doctrine. Ah, uh, let's not spend political power on planes. Speaking of planes, I do have some. I should be using them. This will do. Oh yeah, and assign them here, all of them. No, assign them to the army. That's fine. Do your thing. Whatever it may be. Martial law. Do we need martial law? Political power for stability. Actually, I'd prefer some stability. We are actually getting political power now. And recruit me more militia. 15 here. Just go aggressive and crush them. Should be able to field more forces quickly. Austrian Empire declared war on Hungary. Internal troubles. We'll be doing the superior firepower doctrine. Let's start unlocking it already. Get some extra attack early on. Was the aggressiveness a mistake? Yeah, yeah. reform. Whatever. Next up, efficient production. Am I winning or should I be balanced? Omar Bradley. Oh, Russian Socialist Republic is a thing now. Disappointing. Let's get some stability and go down to balance because this is not going to well. Let's do top-notch artillery. Let's boost our artillery. I suppose I could have used this better if I researched some artillery earlier, but I'm doing this half-blind. Prizing in California. Really? How are you guys doing? Because you don't seem to be doing too well. I forgot to hire militia. Push on the longest front. Oh, we get a decision like this? I didn't even realize. Sure, let's push. Charismatic. Production and stuff. Costa Rica. Sure, whatever. Better trains. I still don't have an agency. Yeah, I should have done that from the start. I forgot about it. We are losing a lot of people. Native coat talkers. Could call in Puerto Rico. Let's do that. Because I can. Wait, why can't I call in a rally in Liberia? Weren't you a puppet of mine? Probably not. Right. Who do we get? Quentin Roosevelt. Stability and political... This is... This is actually awesome. Political power and stability. Good. Get me the next doctrine. Militia's ready. There we go. Get me more militia. Mm, let's do anti-air, not anti-tank. Shock and all. Mobilize the economy. That's a nice choice. Let's do that. Now. Should I? We can do it cheaper that way. I was hoping to hire advisors that give me political power. It's fine. Let's mobilize the economy. Level 6. I keep him as a general or make him a field marshal? Let's keep him a general. Infantry expert. And we need another field marshal working. How about Bradley? You're up, Dwight. The second army group will go from this side. War squad, all right. They took Washington, God damn it. That's not good. Not good at all. Jennifer will be my spy. Japan attack the Philippines. Are Philippines my territory? I'm not. They are not. Some extra militia. It's not militarize them. Ooh, balance for electronics. That's nice. Let's get there. So I should just push the middle more. You guys attack from here. Over here only. Get your reinforcements. I shall recruit even more. I might not be winning right now because I had a small break in the recruiting because I forgot to do it. Ah. No longer get the bonus. Why can I do that again? I mobilize the economy further. Partial mobilization. It is expensive. I should save my political power. Although we're doing kind of well now. Look at these. Bukhara capitulates to the Russians. But we have our own trouble. I was operating under the assumption I'll be able to stop the civil war from happening. Sadly, that was not the case. Extra militia. And we continue recruiting. There's nine here. I'm over the limit. So what? Oh, some penalties. Let's ignore those. Time for the better guns. Oh, are we almost in their capital? Almost. We're gonna get there faster. We are! Haha, <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. Well, that's hardly enough to beat them, but from here we might be able to cut them off easily. And if we cut them in half, it will be easier to extinguish them. Now, with the walkie-talkies boost, we will be able to get competing machines easier. Let's also invest in anti-air, and why not, even a railway gun. And cut them in half. Can we actually cut them off? Possibly. Puerto Rico. We shall keep our ties. You guys attack here. And you guys attack here. Extra troops. There we go. Eight militia here. Ooh, he's very good. Compliance gain. Right, we have cut their country in half. Let's concentrate at one half at a time. You guys relocate. I feel like I'm doing terribly in this civil war. Because I could have prepared for it better if I actually assumed that it was gonna happen, rather than hope it wouldn't. Get in position everybody and finish them off. It's still gonna take a while, so I think I can mobilize the economy later. Ignore Puerto Rico. Let's hire Walter Francis White. 10% political power gain. More support and manpower. And we have... I'm not sure why they implemented this bonus, or rather this penalty. Not like it very much. It just encourages you to make super big divisions. But I'll work with it after we're done with the war. Some extra militia. 
organization first for MacArthur. Oh, we can push on the longest front again. Let's do that. And get some doctrines. High command stuff. I have lots of officers. I prefer medical preparation because it gives two points. And personal officer corps should have taken that before the doctrines. Next doctrine. And some militia. We took Washington back. Are we out of focuses again? Well, there's the Air Force stuff, but I really don't care about that very much. At least for now. So let's just get more political power. Can use that, for example, to mobilize the economy in a moment. Desertion's good. Well, our manpower is kind of low. Oh, that was faster than I thought. We win. I shall, of course, take everything. Okay, great. Can I still do the decisions to mobilize the economy or something? Demobilize the economy. Oh, and I'm only on early mobilization. Hmm, if I knew... It would have put me back on the civilian economy, I would not have mobilized down with the traitors. Right, so we took our country back, we no longer have the depression, and we have 200 factories. Now we are having resistance and devastation from the civil war, which is just as bad, I suppose. Victory and the civil war it is. We need to reclaim New England, but do I want to fight them? I don't think I can fight them right now. I'll just ignore it for now. But I will get Canada for this insult. Right, no longer need a coalition, apparently. Although... Would be nice. Democracy triumphs. All right. So what now? Construction. Do we have a lot to repair? We don't. I think we want to do these first, so we can remove the recovering from the civil war thingy. Let's start with restore legitimacy. But we still have resistance. You guys are not core territories. All right then. Military governor is not a good choice. Let's do local police force and prioritize the garrison. Compliance gain. That's pretty good. Any bonus to compliance gain is great in the long term. Now I'm getting him more for the stability, but I guess I can get him after someone who boosts political power. Let's hire this guy. Construction speed and political power. Restore legitimacy is done. Ooh, research slot. Land of the free it is. It's a huge relief to not have to be doing the war anymore. Let's focus on consolidation of power. Get infrastructure in the places with a lot of resources. And factories there. Hmm, Mexico has to be our enemy as well. Well, because Canada stole our territory, so they are definitely our enemy. In Mexico, well, you don't have to be my enemy, but apparently you wish to be. Bold, Nicole. To Mexico you go. Let's get the judge guy now for the stability. Socialist Republic of Italy declared war on Italian Republic of Italy. You know what? Not my problem. I'm not sure what will happen when I click reclaim New England. I'm not ready to go to war with them just yet. What I want to do is legislate freedoms. So we're going to get lots of stability from that. We got that. I forgot to select the focus. A waste of time. Well, that's fine. At least we got some more stability from it. Can the base value go over 100%? I hope so, because our wonderful president is actually giving us stability all the time. By the guns. We need a lot of those. And then some artillery, but first the guns. Let's do for the people. That will give us some more party support. Cuba. Sure, I'll sell you the stuff. Boulder Dam. Extra infrastructure. And now it says reunite with New England. Oh, New England, want to be friends again? Let's see what happens. Canadian concern. What do they want? Saving American lives. What American lives have you saved? You know what? I, I can always leave the alliance if I so choose. Sure, let's do that. I can always betray them later. Now let's reclaim Alaska from them. The bastards. Trade relations with Ireland. Sure. And we get Alaska again. Well, Canada, you might have saved yourself a more perfect union from my retaliation. Well, that... Kind of shuffles my priorities. Uh, when can I take over your alliance? I just need some more political parts and more people. All right. I wanted to conquer you, but I will accept controlling you. And I got all the divisions, and there's a lot of them. Okay, this was actually a good move to join them, you know. Nice, very nice. And these territories should have a nice infrastructure because I built it for them. So let's fill that with factories. Our consumer goods factories are not very good at the moment. That is going to be better. Invitation to... what's... Imperial Economic Development Council. What does it do? Would that give me anything? Sure, I'll invest the minimum amount. Okay, I get something from it. Extra construction speed, that's nice. Dockyard output, eh, not important. Resource gain, consumer goods, factory output. Mm, I'll take construction, thank you. Then again, consumer goods is a big thing for me. Oh, that's 2%, that's 10. For now, let's do construction. So, alternate of Egypt attack the Ottoman Empire. We will soon be able to move in the world. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. Bill of Rights, reminder. Let's recover from that civil war quickly. Let's have a look at the world situation. The Entente that we joined is relatively big. Of course, we're going to take it over, but is anyone there at war with anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Good. Then we can use them. Let's do some more military build-up. First of all, and then military. We have the time. Take over the faction. And then I think we'll go after the communists. We'll see. I still have Hawaii to reclaim. Oh, and we can join their academic council. 
Sure. Why are they all black and white? Superior firepower expert, please. Ottoman Empire fighting the Cairo Pact. Now, theoretically, I could have saved my army experience until I got the advisor and then got more uh, doctrines. But getting those doctrines during our fight actually let us win faster. Trade deal with Australasia. Let's have a look at them. Are you in my alliance? Okay, I'm gonna take that alliance over, so good. Well, they are in my sphere of influence then. We shall start decrypting the Brits and the French, as well as get a spy master position. Creation of a sniper program. Sure, let's do snipers. Everyone's fighting the Ottoman Empire now. And the Ottomans are winning. They didn't seem that strong, but apparently I was wrong. They are quite strong indeed. Bill of Rights Amendment done. Defend democracy. An advanced computing machine, thanks to our electronics bonus. Our research will be the best in the world. New spy. British, good. Translation of the Victory Book campaign. Okay, whatever. We have no war support. I think I should start doing stuff like uh, radio propaganda. Let's do that. We need to train more troops. I think we'll just do infantry divisions. Lots of them, please. Although, no. Let's create a new one for quick deployment. Just bit of cavalry. Cheap deployment and quick movement. We can support up to 167. Will that go up soon? It Probably will, yes. Then I guess I'll go to two full army groups. Or maybe not full army groups, but I definitely want to get as many divisions as I'm allowed to. Oh, wrong division uh, was the one I made. This one. They take less manpower, you see. Right, this will be enough to get two full army groups. We'll go a little bit over this limit, but yeah, see, it's increasing all the time. So it's fine. Another spy. There's another British available. Let's get another Brit. Now, if I am allied with Canada, who has a British king, and I conquer Britain, will Canada automatically take it from me? I hope not. Ensure political stability. And atomic research. Yes, it's expensive yet it's out of time, but we have five slots, and these bonuses will stack for all future research. Boost our guns, and our guns, and our... Excavation, why not? Factories, factories everywhere. Get these consumer goods down and we'll be fine. All right, better artillery. Also need to finally pay attention to my production a little bit. We'll get trucks, railway guns. Yes, I know my military industry is lacking, but we'll, we'll make it work. We're not in a rush. We're still recovering from the Civil War. We're gonna build up to be a great power, take over the faction and then act. And field properly supported divisions. And a lot of those. Next up, we need industry. And I think Bethlehem Steel is the best option here. Not only do we get a bonus to research and resource gain, we also construct everything faster. So actually, I wish I saw that sooner. This is extremely good. We have ensured political stability. Strengthened democracy. Poland has joined the German faction. Weren't they already in it? I suppose it doesn't really matter. We don't necessarily need to fight them. Kinda wanna take out the communists though, because Hawaii has rebelled and joined their faction. Irish American trade, sure, yeah. Do you want to join my faction? Oh, I can't invite you because I'm not leading the faction yet. Yet. Can I deploy all these? Well, yeah, looks like I can. Making two army groups. Should we standardize our units? Hmm. Some of those are veterans, but they'll do better with support companies and such, I think. We might want to do marines, but it's more important to just get the base units right, and then we can uh, do elite forces. That's two full army groups, ready to be switched into proper units and trained up. Oh, it's actually reducing my factory output. All right, that's that's not good. I don't like this modifier. All it does is encourage you to just make a bit bigger units. All right, I'll disband three armies of these horses, I guess. Not even four, three armies. Two and a half, is that enough? It should be. Yeah, exactly. Of course, I'm gonna train them right back up, just not deploy them. Operations. Ah, my lovely collaboration governments. I can finally do you. Two Brits going to make a collaboration government in Britain. It's a good thing we have so many generals, and they are high-level ones. War support. Not a lot, but some. Should we keep the Electoral College? Eh, we already destroyed radicalism in the Civil War. On the other hand, 150 political power of a difference. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Home of the brave. Political power. Ah, my wonderful stability. Loyalty to America. Or the consumer goods factories. Oh, not that great, but we're working on it. Time for a manufacturer. Let's do browning. Extra attack from our infantry weapons. Perhaps investing my political power in stability was a mistake since it's growing on its own all the time, thanks to our president. A more perfect union. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Union of Canada declared war on the Australasian Union. When Japan attacked the Dutch East Indies. Weren't you supposed to be in the same faction as me? Canada, what the hell? I should have worked harder to take over the faction. No, that was impossible. What is this about? Should I intervene? We were supposed to be friends. Oh well. Let's switch all of them to infantry divisions. Should we do that? No, not all of them. I'll send two armies. 
We are invited to this war. Do you even have any eyes? No. Oh, because they want syndicalist. I'll wait, because they might join the syndicalist. Yeah. They're at war with my entire alliance. If they join syndicalist faction, I have no desire to fight them yet. But they seem to not do that. All right. Do we even have any naval bases in the area? Can the Canadians land anything? They probably can if I reclaim Hawaii. Can I do that? So let's not join the war just yet. Oh, what is this? Ah, this is our alliance. So we actually have a spot to invade from. All right, go here. Go to Dili and do it quickly. Now let's get our massive fleet and move. Are you on your way? Yes, you are. Good. Fleet is arriving. Hungary was the next. Let's check if they haven't allied anyone. No, they have not. A more perfect union is achieved. Now, do I need to fight the longest terrorists or not? Yeah, I probably do. Bulgaria fighting Greece. Our fleets have arrived. I'm just gonna do one massive fleet because that's what I like to do. Troops will take a little while longer. Actually, I'm gonna replace this guy with this guy because he is the infantry expert I'm gonna hire. So we wanna level him. Make sure he's on the front lines. And yes, hire him. Troops arriving. Time to start planning naval invasions. I don't know why this war happened other than them turning syndicalist. But if we can get stuff, we shall get stuff. Focus on this one port and we can advance from there. Get ready. Oh, we can do rocket launchers. Let's do that. Let's do malice and charity. Let's see what effects it has. Oh, I just have to take this multiple times and that will remove the longest terrorists. Huh, didn't realize that. Guys ready? Yeah, fleet time. Invasion happening. As soon as we join. And we shall join now. Go. We'll research the best gun. It is ahead of time, but the faster we start building those, well, the better. Although we probably should have done soft attack and breakthrough, not so much hard attack. It doesn't really matter. I'm talking about uh, the design company Browning. Because others give other stuff, like breakthrough here. Whatever. It's fine. Move. Is it really undefended? Oh, Australia, really? Run this way, super aggressively. And the other army I've brought, run the other way, super aggressively. Will I need to invade New Zealand as well? We'll see. Hopefully not. Move, move, move. Aggressively. I'm gonna try and invest more and see if I get more bonuses this time around. I think those are the same bonuses. Maybe not. That's the construction speed. 20%, that's huge. It's a temporary bonus only, but a very big one. Now, can I boost my war support? Not really. Not yet. Oh no, we're Iron and joined the Reichspakt. I wanted them in my faction. Oh well. I don't plan on fighting the Germans, so it should be fine. Now oh, these things here reduce my speed of constructing military factories. But I am constructing civilian ones now. If you build lots of civilian factories, then you can just pamp out huge amounts of military ones, even with a penalty. Well, let's do these. Begin the reconstruction. Malice or charity? Charity, please. Oh, my base value can't go over 100%. That's a pity. A real problem. You guys doing well? Well enough. Hope oh, there aren't many victory points over here. Not so many. I should be fine. Yeah, taking these should be enough. We've decrypted the Union of Britain. How about my spy operations? Oh, it's still in progress. There's not much fighting in Australia, and you guys will gain some experience. Supply is bad, yeah, but you'll figure it out. It eats some kangaroos. Let's get those consumer goods factories down. Why are you guys not advancing? I understand you have little supply, but you have some supply, and I set you on aggressive. And that's gonna make the supply situation much better, isn't it? Much better. Good. I think I'll just annex Australia. Or Australia Asia. Next doctrine, mechanized offensive. Then please, I don't want to give up any war score. Although with the new system, I can get everything even if I'm at like 70%, so okay. How do I have so little fuel? Oh, I didn't do the fuel refining technologies, that's why. Advance. I'm going to need some more war spots. Let's utilize domestic film industry and protect democracy and fight long terrorists because our economy needs mobilizing. Can you guys attack um, more aggressively maybe? Let's maximize our infrastructure so we get more resources. Invest in our industry a bit more. Now we can actually get four industry research bonuses here. So I will start this and this and then use bonuses on the remaining four to get them very quickly. Investment. Um, give me a civilian factory. Civilian factories are more expensive. I can finally mobilize my people and or my economy. Hmm. Actually, let's start with the people because it's going to help us take over the faction. Assemble the introduction and get those industry bonuses. Give me those victory points. How far are we from winning? Not too far. Give me Melbourne and that should be sufficient. Excellent. I'm just going to annex them. Why do I have so little score in the first round? Ah, no matter. Take the cheaper ones and contest everything they take. Did they take anything? Doesn't seem like it, no. Looks like I am getting all of it. 
Good, it means the ships as well. And that's it, confirm and exit. We have annexed the Australasian Union. Fortunately, we have a guy who increases compliance gain, so this should go relatively quickly. Should I be on local autonomy for faster compliance gain? Possibly, but after we deal with long. Okay, that's rocket artillery too. Right, anybody else to conquer? Doesn't seem like it, it's fine. We can leave the troops where they are for now. And we can go up to partial mobilization when we have the points, which is awesome. The fate of Australasia. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Return to the British now. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is terrible. Uh, the description of the event said that their fate lies in my hands. I clicked it, planning to decide their fate. Now, once again, we must decide how we want to manage it. And the only option I have, only option, is to return to the British. Why? Is that because I'm in the same faction as them? That's that's terrible. That's the only option I had. I had to give it all up to Canada, even though I did all the work. It makes me angry. See, I like freedom and making decisions in these games. I would set them up as a puppet. I could have made them a puppet. If I was playing this just for myself for fun, I would reload the autosaver at this moment and just make them a puppet. Because this is such bullshit. But it is what it is. I might betray Canada later. This is just one of many insults. Oh, and they have released them back as a subject. Just not my subject, which it would have been. I am quite angry if you haven't noticed. Fight of the unions, where is that? Ah, oh, it's fine. Let's go down here. Modify economic devastation with things. Germany gets stuff. Mobilization speed is quite slow, but it doesn't really matter. And our war support is actually quite high now. I would go to war economy, but we would need to be in a big war. Still a partial mobilization thing, it would be good. Prepare for war. India is planning an invasion. Do we care what India is doing? Well, they are an ally. How much more do I need to take the faction from you? 400,000 people deployed and 100 port power. More. I think we'll have to do that soon. Good thing we increased the manpower laws. Can't do it. I just wanted to deploy 20, not all of them. Yeah, whatever. Factory output will go down a bit, but it's not a big deal. Everybody, infantry division. Get all that manpower in the field. We're taking over the faction. Yes, yes, we get a small penalty. It's fine. Statehood for Alaska. Sure. No problem with that. Extra political power is good to have. We're taking over, you silly Brits. Two more political power. One more political power. It's mine. Take over faction. Ha 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 ha. Take that. For stealing Australia. It's not really gonna change that much, though, is it? Oh, I now control the, the thingy that they contribute political power to. But can I invest in myself? Yes, I can. Good. We're gonna do that a lot. Corruption at its finest. Communion of France is justifying. Well, I'm not exactly ready, but I suppose I have to be. So, who are you justifying on? Take down Germany. I don't have anything with Germany. I'm not allied to you or guaranteeing you. Although it's a good opportunity to kill Common of France, I suppose. How about we send an army group to Spain? Yeah, now they're missing equipment and all that. It's fine. Advanced computing machine complete. Actually, I'm not missing as much equipment as I thought I am. What I'm mostly missing is political power. Should I just maximize infrastructure everywhere? Probably should. It should pay off in the long run. Right, so Dominion of India. You're fighting these guys, but you're not calling anyone in. I'm going to ignore you. I have two units to many. Well, tough luck. We'll have to just deal with it. Dominion of Canada wants me to join the war against... Hyderabad is this bit down here and they have no guarantees or allies so sure I will join you guys send that secondary army there we might get some experience oh now I'm at war again and it's an offensive war which is a bad thing for me regarding laws and stability and such but not a big deal economic investments Panama wants investments 30 days sure you guys training up excellent so we need more artillery and more support Port equipment for now. Buryatia commune, and oh, that's the one. You have any allies? You have the Union of Burma. Well, I can take them. Just send more armies. Might be a good opportunity to train up a bit. Coming from the declared war on the German Empire, as expected. And who's gonna get crushed? Someone's gonna get crushed. Can I actually attack the Commune of France? I can, yes. 35 days. Do I want to? Is the real question. Yes, I want to. Now, can I invest in myself? No. Well, that's a uh, Invest in Spain and Mexico and India. Is the Commune of France actually gonna beat Germany? Let them fight it out for a moment. Sardinia is what? Abandoning us because of something. Not important. And Russia declared war on Germany as well. Are you gonna ally yourself with France? Union of Britain, Hawaii, Batavia, Iceland, Norway, and Chile. And Russia is allied with. Uh, 
Ukraine. That's weird. Let's continue. I really want to invest in Brazil. Sorry. Right, we need to move towards the farming subsidies. Let's do that. Early mobilization. And Brazil joins Germany. Germany's in trouble. I really didn't think they would be. Probably not as strong as they want to be. Right, who wins? Of course I want to keep Roosevelt. He's giving me stability every day. Although my best stability is already maxed out. No, the other guy also decreased political power gain. This is a no-brainer. Roosevelt. Oh, the French Republic. Are you in my faction? You are, and you have just declared war on the coming of France. Are we ready? I think we are. Okay, okay. I'll join in. Prepare for war. No time to prepare. Start the war. Start attacking. These guys are on balance, so they're gonna to need to regain organization a bit. Two Sicilies seek to join. Is the Italian Empire that actually seeks to join? Are you at war with anyone? No, sure, I'll let you in. You're a big strong faction. You're gonna send some troops to attack from your territory. Go, go, go. This is going over the mountains, so it could be Mm, slightly difficult, but we should be able to crush France, especially since they're fighting the Germans now. Well, I was kind of hoping they would defeat the Germans, and then we could kill them after. Well, this is fine. We'll have to kill the Union of Britain as well, of course. Liberia declared war on France. Is that smart, Liberia? You're rather small. Can you guys break through actually or not? Well, you are breaking through. Territory is going to France, sadly, because they have claims. That's fine. Should I go aggressive? Probably not. This is fine. I was hoping to outfit my army perfectly before attempting anything like that, but my hand has been forced, more or less. Collaboration governments are amazing, so I'm also going to prepare one on France. Construction 5. Well, now I can probably go to extensive conscription, as soon as we have on the political power. I shouldn't have joined their faction, probably. It's a bit too early for the war. I'm taking losses I don't have to be taking. Also, the fight in India seems like a stupid idea. Yeah, let's get my guys out of there. We're doing fine in France. What is my participation? Only 16%. Oh, because stuff in India matters. Well, it's 24% against France. The more important war. Is Germany going to be capitulated? It's actually a possibility. It would be interesting. Uh, do I want to invest anything? No. Oh, I have not invested this year, so I can't get anything. Pity. Invite Italy. I should have invested the minimum amount and then paid myself out. The maximum amount. But whatever. What? Egypt declared war on France? Aren't you busy with the Ottomans? No, you're no longer busy with the Ottomans. You know what, I don't want to fight Egypt right now. I'm just gonna ignore it. At least it's going well in France. I kinda wanna defeat France, but I also kinda want France to defeat Germany, so I can reap the spoils afterwards. Let's use the French cipher. It's finally time to get some military factories going. Maybe it's past the time for that, but let's do it anyway. Extensive conscription. Shouldn't have joined the war in India. It's rather pointless. Better gun researched. Let's start producing it. See, I wasn't planning to enter the wars this early, so my interest is not ready. We're still winning, but it could be better. Tripolitanian Republic has joined the faction we're fighting. How many major countries are we fighting now? France, Britain and Bariatia Commune. It's a pity France and the government of France had to fight, because we could see the German Empire defeated by France, and then we could come in and kill France. Still, so, let's just kill France, and then prepare some naval invasions of Britain. I suppose I could hire the offense genius now. Sure, let's do that. Shock and awe. And forward observers, and advanced fire bases, and almost. Shock and awe. Azerbaijan capitulates. If the Brits try to get me to return British Isles, I'll just... I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll do something to not return it. Could put some companies on trial. Sure, let's see what happens. Come on, the front is still very far from capitulation. And we have no manpower. Oh, we're fighting Gandhi. Shouldn't have fought Gandhi. He's probably gonna chug nukes at us. Wanna give up yet, France? Couple more military factories. Although, I guess I can do a couple more civilians as well. War looks a bit messy. They're still far from capitulation. Well, we haven't taken Paris yet, so I suppose that that makes sense. Right, so what do we do now? All of this is complete. Oh, Fortress America is quite powerful, actually. 20% research speed. Oh, you should have gone for that. Let's do back in business. I probably did them in a slightly wrong order. Ah, oh, that's fine. Oh, good, we've grabbed Brest. Next up, Cherbourg. Get me Paris. Will you capitulate yet? Not yet. Soon. You did a number on the Germans, definitely. Let's go a bit more aggressive for a moment. Finish them off, because we're very close. Try and take Le Havre. Political power increase. I already have my company, so... Political power. And we can move to service by requirement. Excellent. Let's do that. Oh, why is this a peace conference? I thought there was gonna fight... be a fight with Britain. I suppose it doesn't matter that much. I'm just gonna take stuff for myself then. Do you have stuff outside of Europe? Probably not. I'll definitely take the Union of Iceland. Now, as many as we can get. Starting with the cheaper ones. Submit demands. Contest everything the others have taken. I'm trying to get absolutely everything. It's not likely at the war score I get, but it's still the best strategy to get a lot of stuff, I think. Go to France. Just the cheapest bits for now, I think. Again, contest everything and take from the other 
Germans. Ooh, can take from the Germans. I guess the Germans can have a bit. I'm gonna still keep trying to contest all of it. Is that a good choice? Probably not, to be honest. Just forfeit them for now and take the cheapest ones. Get a lot of stuff. Maybe even get consistent borders. We need to let the Germans have some bits. Let's try it like this. Oh, is nobody gonna take this one? See, this is what I don't like about the new Peace Conference mechanic. Some stuff gets left behind sometimes. We'll see. Confirm an exit. How much did we get? We got the bloody most of it. Good. Excellent, even. I should probably try and get military access from the Germans, but they can handle their own stuff. Time for me to plan invasions of Britain. Right. Go get there. And the rest of you can handle a little bit of British soldiers. Time for the ships to relocate to France. It's gonna take them a moment. And the trials give me a lot of political power. Sure, we can now fix our economy. Now let's go to partial mobilization and soon to war economy. Finally. Division companies, more political power, please. And the war economy finally happens. Oh no, I like this guy. Fortunately, we have a lot of people in reserve. Oh, there's now the French Republic and France. They will complete more political power. Didn't know these trials could give me so much political power. Logistics expert. Where's the navy? Almost there. All right. Your order is to patrol the English Channel. And the invasions are launching. Let's see if they left any of the ports undefended. Interesting. We can get extra 20% factory output from this. I actually need to do that. All right, this is defended. Is Portsmouth defended? Portsmouth was not defended, luckily. Alright then, British, it's your time to die. The entire army group of General Douglas MacArthur is on its way to you. Although the coalition government still needs 78 days, so I'm just not going to go all the way. Just almost all the way. This far. Oh, the Copa. Oh, troops. Oh, I did land here as well. Or did he get killed? <laughs> it was not successful. No matter. We have our foothold. Goodbye, Britain. But why is this going to Canada, huh? Am I going to have to ask them for it? I feel like the British are getting a lot of perks just because they're British. Might need to kick them and kill them. Where's my kick from faction option? God damn it. Can't get rid of the British. Alright, stop your advance until we get that coalition government operation complete. I actually need control of your states. I'm gonna leave you with Cornwall. How about that? Oh, you don't want to give me any of these, you assholes. See, they don't have a core here, do they? No, just a claim, so it shouldn't be going to them. It's not like they have any war score in this. Oh, god damn it. Russia has joined uh, the British faction. This is gonna be a bit of an issue. We're going to spare the generals. We might have a use for them. Modernize our guns. Right, did the operation finish finally? Seven days. And then we can crush the British once and for all. It's done. Okay, good. Now, give me the territory. I don't like the fact that they automatically go to them because they have a claim. If it was a core, I understand, I suppose. Oh, go. Kill them. I should be able to get them in the peace conference anyway. Further boost. To our army. Go aggressive and finish them off. They capitulate and do I get the territory? I get some of the territory and I have 100% compliance in that territory. Okay. The fate of France. Oh no. Is that the same thing? Is it gonna be going back to France. I don't want that to happen. Return French land. No. There's my collaboration government on Britain. Are there no collaboration governments in Kaiserreich? Seriously. Really? Can I offer a white peace to these guys? No. There isn't a peace conference probably because of Russia, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. So, coming to France. Countries can never release... Okay. Why? You can't release puppets. At this point, I'm more baffled than annoyed. Let's see. I can't kick France out of my alliance. I can't release a puppet. I can't create a collaboration government. Am I going to get an option other than give everything back to them? Because if not, <laughs> I think my <laughs> adventure with Kaiserreich might just end here. Alright, three days to get these events. Let's see what happens. The fate of France. And I have no other option. I can't kick them from the faction to avoid this. What did I just do? Sure, puppet island, Iceland. I have no option to avoid this because I cannot make a collaboration government in France, I cannot release a puppet in France, maybe I could at the peace conference, probably should have thought of that, and I cannot kick France out of my faction to avoid this, and I cannot make a decision to just not give it back and keep it temporarily or whatever. I really don't like this. So if there are options, like uh, give it back to them and make France your puppet in the process, for example, yeah, great. Or option one, give the land back to the French. Option two, make a deal with the French, they become your puppet and get all their land back. Option three, keep the land, but the French are kicked out of the faction, or you're kicked out of faction if you're not the leader. That would be good. This, uh, I, I just don't like this. Okay, and not just because I'm losing the territory, it's because I have no options. It's just some French territory, I have 500 factories right now. I don't need it. What I dislike is, as I said, uh, the lack of options. And I'm pretty sure the same thing is gonna happen here in Britain when this war ends. It won't end because I would need to defeat the Russian Socialist Republic first. You know what? 
I think I'm gonna end this video here. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I should do Kaiserreich again, and if this is the con sort of content you enjoy, because I have very mixed feelings about Kaiserreich, and don't really feel like continuing this campaign, because I've been derailed so much. And it's not just about the territory. I'll try to explain myself. What I really like about Kaiserreich is the depth. All the countries have their depth, have their advisors and various paths and so on. And that's fun, that's great. What I dislike about it is the lack of player choice. Now, I was not able to avoid the American Civil War. I guess that's by design, I can accept that. It was a two-way civil war thanks to my efforts and not a four-way civil war, that's something. Alright, if you need to do that, you need to do that. But then the fact that I cannot kick a country out of the faction, it's not saying I can't because we're at war together, no. There's just no option to do it. And the fact that I had to return Australia to the British, rather than, for example, make them my own puppet, or get concessions in return for giving them the territory or something, that annoyed me quite a lot. The lack of collaboration governments actually being created is a bit of a bummer. And the entire debacle with France. Oh, I can do this again? Can I fire this again? No, I can only give it back. Uh, it's, it's a bug, probably just... If I unpause, this will dis disappear, right? Because I don't have the territory anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Great depth, great storytelling, not so great at player choice. I felt rather railroaded throughout the campaign. I, I could make the decisions who to attack and so on. I could decide not to join Canada's alliance, but I didn't realize that joining it is forever and you can never leave or kick them. Well, maybe I could leave before I took it over, but I thought I'd be able to kick members as the leader. I don't know, let me know what you think. I think I need something with more player agency, with more player choice, but I can be persuaded otherwise. Would you like to see more Kaiserreich, more base game, or something else? And as for continuing this campaign, um, we've defeated the communists, I was not happy with the results. If I were to continue this, we would need to get some military access from the Germans and beat up the Russians to end this. I could also destroy the Baratia commune, because I foolishly entered into a war with them. I suppose you could argue that I am the leader of the alliance, so France getting all the territory back is good for me, because they'll do what I tell them anyway. And that is one way to look at it. But if there is so much detail that you, for example, include a Stanley Cup for some reason, might as well trade all the French territory for them becoming a puppet or something like that. You know, more options. I suppose it's all a matter of preference. Anyways, I'm gonna end my rant here. Tell me what you think, if I should try this again, and if so, as which country. Have a nice day, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.